the drive shaft has gone out on my fancy modified Cub Cadet. <clears throat> um, take you in here for a little look. Got a couple problems with it. I put in this engine. Obviously, that's not factory. Got my hydraulic pump up there. Never have finished this tractor. I was always wanting to want to add a second hydraulic pump to make a PTO. And of course, it needs a hood. And I do not like how I had that orange hydraulic reservoir mounted up there. That was never supposed to be permanent. But hey, it's only been, you know, I don't know, eight, nine years that way, so can't call it permanent yet, can you? Um, but anyway, put this engine in here. It sits higher. The crank is up higher. So I made up this drive shaft to get there, to get to the transmission. Um, this drive shaft I found in a scrap yard. Um, I had to make it fit, so I extended this side. And then I made this adapter for the back side of the engine. And it's really long, you know. There's the end of the flywheel. I made it come all the way back to there to, so I could use this drive shaft. But I should have extended it because this, I think, is just too long. I'm too far away from the engine. And this is too long. Um, the other thing I keep having trouble with is the caps. Keep flying out. Or the crosses, you know. Um, not very fun. I see some dents and dings from where it's come off several times and flown up into the cover here. Not cool. No, it's just probably why that drive shaft was in the scrapyard. This one up here has come apart. And when it came apart this time, this gear is actually cracked right through here. Can't can't get over there to see it good, but uh, there's a big old crack in the ear. So it's done for. So I went to the junkyard and I got two uh, drive shafts out of the Taurus and I want to see if those will fit in here. And it's lined up correctly. There. It doesn't take much to pop that off. Now the thing I don't know is if the splines on this end of the shaft are going to be the same as the splines on this end of the shaft. Because while this type of shaft is acceptable, this type of joint is acceptable um, to use on my application, I really want to use this ball end because this ball end can handle the angle a lot better. Um, so I'd like to pop off this side and we'll see then if the splines are the same as this side because if they are, then I'm going to use both of these ball ends. Ah, there we go. Okay, slide up the shaft. All right, there we go. Oh. Ah, okay, up, up, up with you, around. Ah, got it. Ah. ah, there we go. Well, my plan as of now is to put this shaft on there and the shaft on there 
which might work. cut with high speed steel. Before I go ahead and zoom in and show you the cut, I'd like to show you how I mount my grinder on here. I just used that T-nut that I built to go in here. I got a strap iron that goes into where the handle goes on the grinder and I have a cutoff wheel on the grinder. Well, I'm going to anneal this piece because I can't work with it. Oh yeah, it's got a rubber seal on it still. I don't recommend ever annealing your part in the lathe chuck like this, but the jaws didn't even get warm. Um, now I've already checked this with the file a little bit, but there's background noise, so doing a redo here. But it goes right through those splines. No resistance, so it's definitely soft now. I just discovered a design flaw in my drill adapter. I can't get where I need to drill when I'm close to the chuck. I should have put a hole over here and a hole over here and not had one in the center. And I measured and I could put a hole here but it would be about an eighth of an inch of metal out here and maybe not even an eighth of an inch of metal out here between those holes because there's about not there's less than a quarter of an inch um, longer than the drill is wide from here to the end so 
I guess I need to build another one. Right now I am really nervous. I think I've got it all machined out, got my cross pin, got the tightening bolt, got it bored out. <sighs> so I'm gonna take it out of there and see if it fits on the input shaft of the tractor. I don't think it will because um, I have this shaft the bore about two thousandths under what it measures on the tractor um, the plan is to actually hone that out if it doesn't fit so yeah so let's go see if it fits on there hopefully I got enough light in here you can see what's going on Yep, what I thought. So, as I thought, a little tight. So, I'll go back to the shop and hone on it a little bit. Honed on it just a little bit. Didn't hit it very long at all. And it's shiny inside. So, let's see. Ha 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 ha. Tight. It's okay. That'll work. Well, I'm not going to show you guys this, but I'm going to anneal it, whack it off, basically do the same thing I did to the other one. Um, B58 sticking out here. So. Since it's a repeat of the other one, I'm not going to show that. I just bored out this hole with my 63-64 drill bit and I used my telescoping gauge and checked it with my calipers and it's an inch and four thousandths so it's going to be interesting because I left this stub on here about four thousandths over which is ironic because I was hoping to bore out this hole and get an exact fit but that means it already is an exact fit and it fits really good uh, <laughs> I'm glad that worked out but I gotta see what's going on with that drill bit because that's drilling way oversized I don't know it might be sharpened off center or something